Hello, brothers and sisters. I told you that I would come and show you the information for these videos. There's a part one and two of Howard Pittman's life. The first one is 35 minutes and 32 seconds long. It's his near-death experience, and he went into the pit of darkness. And you just got to listen to the story. Your godly discernment will tell you that it's true. Just look at the man's face as he's talking. Anyway, so I'm going to turn my camera around, show you the video, and then I'm going to click on video two, and then I'm going to show you real quick um, the new Mandarin fault line information that the Lord showed me this morning. Two videos explain everything, and it will cause you to have a great heaviness about you you're going to have to lay down and ask him to give you his peace. It will give you anxiety because it is very, very, very dreadful what happened back in the 1800s. And they don't have the modern, tech, modern technology, nor the radio broadcast, nor the news stations that we have these days. So please listen and please follow up with watching these videos before the end of the week, because next week is May the 21st, and I'll find that video also about the little boy, but let me get you this information. Okay, so get your pen and paper out, guys. Here's the video. It's called Howard Pittman's Near-Death Experience. This is Howard. The name of the channel is Mark Cohart. Coart, C-O-W-A-R-T. He's got 25,000.3 people on his channel. And this particular video, he's had 1.9 million views in six months. Okay, so hold on. Now I'm going to go to um, part two. So here's part two. Hold on, I'm trying to get the advertisement off. All right, here's part two. And it's the same person, Mark, C-O-W-A-R-T, Cowart. Okay, so that's that. And then hold on a second. I'm just going to give you information that the Lord had me find this morning. Whoops. About... Um, There's two videos. I'm going to click on both of them. Let me get the advertisement over with. Hold on. Okay, so this one doesn't have advertisement. Now that's a good thing. Okay, the name of this YouTube channel, if you got your pens, it's called Insane Curiosity. And it's got 473,000 subscribers to it. But it is a video that um, shows a lot of detail to it, and uh, it gives you a lot of truth. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the picture of what the channel looks like. And that's once you start it. Uh, let me see if I can get it back to the beginning. Mm, it won't show anything. Um, but anyway, that's enough for, for that. Okay, so again, it's called Insane Curiosity, and uh, that was a video that the Lord had me find. This other one is the Missouri Department of Natural Resources. They have their own channel, and they have a museum uh, about the New Mandarin Fault Line. The Lord had me find that this morning. So 
I'm going to show you what it looks like before you click on it. It's this one right here. And that's the beginning of it. And again, the, the name of the channel is the New Mandarin, uh, excuse me, the Missouri Department of Natural Resources is the name of the channel. Uh, it's called Earthquake Exhibit at the New Madrid Historical Museum. You really need to watch that. It gives detailed breakdown um, information. Um, anyway, the largest earthquake was an 8.8 .8 that was right by the town called the New Mandarin. The other earthquakes were 8.4, 8.0, 8.0, 8.6, and 8.8. .8. Those were all the strongest magnitude earthquakes. But you need to know that the earthquakes went on for five months. From fours to sixes to sevens, but they only recorded and did on the video the largest earthquakes. And um, this happened for 54 days period of time for the largest earthquakes to erupt. And then after that, it went on for five months straight. And cities and towns disappeared. Buildings were gone. People were gone. No homes, no possessions. Everything washed away from the Mississippi River. The river went out of its banks 100 miles to the left, 100 miles to the right, and everybody was left destitute. Many were dead and many they could not ever find. New lakes were created, and just think, we have modern technology now. More millions of people live in those areas. More taller, higher buildings, more population, more railroads, more bridges than there was back then. So we're looking at more of a serious situation this time around. But this time around, at least we have modern technology, we have more helicopters, we have more ways of helping, but they could not get any ships up in there because there was like a cataclysm, a catechism, um, like a tornado vortex going on in the Mississippi causing the water to spin there's actually a in one of the videos they actually show you a modified uh, view of what it would look like if you were seeing it in real life it was like the water had tornadoes in it all up and down the river because of the giant earthquakes and the shaking and so no ship could travel it Anyway, brothers and sisters, this fault line is just to the left of the Mississippi River, but they think the river itself is also part of the fault line, but man will never know that because it's always had water in it. Um, but anyway, I love you guys, and I have seen in a vision, the Lord showed me, when Yellowstone blows, America will be ripped in half. It's not time for that yet, so please don't freak out and think that that's going to happen. It's not time for that yet. It's not time for the sixth seal to be open. It's not time for that. But he must shake as many as he can to save them because they're in love with the lust of this world that the devil has washed their brains to love beer, wine, alcohol, drugs, sex, football, and so on. We've got to help them, brothers and sisters, or they're not going to make it to heaven. Will you help me in the Lord Jesus? Please, please make a change today, guys. Please, please repent and make a change. Please listen to the videos of the Hidden Sanctuary and the two videos after that in my blue t-shirt that's a cherished girl t-shirt. Um, because the Lord moved in me heavily all day. And I did a lot of work to get these videos up for you guys. He doesn't want you to be like Howard Pittman. 
And some may not come back because they've been given time, guys. Please don't let that be you. Make a change. I love you. I gotta go. Have a good day. And please share these videos with family and friends. Send out your invitations to this channel, your flyers, pictures of your flyers to all those in your phone book. Let God deal with their hearts. Let God deal with their hearts. I'm off one more day tomorrow and a lot of videos to make. I love you. I gotta go.